Penns fans, welcome to Penns Den, home of your five-time Stanley Cup champion, Pittsburgh Penguins. I've had a lot of inquiries from a lot of my followers on Twitter and on my Facebook groups. Do you actually have a room called the Penns Den? What does it look like? Well, this video it will answer all those questions for you, and that's coming right up. Back when we moved into this house in 2014, um, we had had um, some designs. I had had some designs, my wife not, but I'd had some designs on making a den into what would I would call a pens den with uh, pens gear, pens accessories, pens souvenirs, memorabilia, and so forth. So um, this is a tour of our room. This is where we watch all the Penguins games. So let's take a look. Okay, uh, we're taking a tour of the Penn's Den here, and I wanted to show you, first of all, the most prominent feature in the den, I think, is having the Penguins uh, logo on the wall, and then the lettering for a great day for hockey. Uh, that is a fat head logo that I use there, and what I've done is, since I have a textured wall on here, um, I use 3M contact strips along the outsides of the triangle, uh, and it's adhered very nicely. It's been up there for three years without any issues. And then the lettering, a great day for hockey, uh, found a company out in Colorado who made that for me. I found the font, sent that to them, and I applied it very carefully. Again, um, I was thinking, being that it's a textured wall, it might not adhere 100%, but I've had absolutely no issues with it. And now also probably while I'm showing you the logo is the paint scheme of the room. Uh, we use Sherwin-Williams Sconce Gold. Uh, that is absolutely probably the closest color to the old gold that the Penguins uh, had worn for so many years. Next up here is the uh, Pittsburgh Post-Gazette from June of 2009 when they won the cup. And it's on a wooden plaque. I also have the one from 2016. I don't have that hanging up yet, but that makes a very nice addition to the room. Now, this picture of Sidney Crosby that I have hanging on the wall is on canvas. What I did was I found this out on the internet. This was actually before the Penguins had switched to their new jerseys, and I really like that picture a lot. So what I did was found a company that puts pictures on canvas, uh, sent that out to them, and it was about $35, $40, but... Um, it's on canvas. Next we're going to take it, some of my personal favorite memorabilia here. Um, my parents uh, uh, several years ago for Christmas purchased me the book Mario Lemieux The Final Period. Um, it's one of my treasured keepsakes considering my parents have passed away and they knew how much I loved hockey. Uh, my beautiful wife got me Tales from the Pittsburgh Penguins Locker Room uh, by Joe Starkey. That is just a book that I highly recommend. It is just yeah, I can't say it enough. If you're a Penguins fan, you need to have that book. And then over here on this side is uh, the box from NHL 2002 with Mary Lemieux on it. And from what I believe, it is the only EA Sports NHL game that ever had a Pittsburgh Penguin on it. Now up on my top shelf, um, I have a video from the 2009 uh, Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins. I also have one from... 1991. It's a VHS tape. Uh, I have one of my Penguins glasses, a collectible up there. And then I also have a VHS tape from when they won the cup in 1992. have some more collectibles here. Uh, I got a team at USA coach builds my bobblehead. I purchased that on eBay. Uh, another one of my Penguins mugs that's been retired. And I have an Olimata bobblehead. Now up here on the top shelf, uh, my wife purchased me uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2 of the Pittsburgh Penguins' uh, 10 Greatest Games. In the middle, I have a cup from the first game at Consol Energy Center. And then you can see Volume 2 of the Penguins' Greatest Games over there. Now, part of really what makes this room very nice to watch Penguins games in is um, these curtains that my wife has purchased. They're blackout curtains. But also, by luck, they also match the paint on the wall as well. So it really makes it for a very nice evening considering the front of the house faces east. 
So by the time we're watching Penguins games in the evenings, the sun's usually not a concern. But still, it's very nice whenever we're in here to watch TV that we don't have to worry about uh, having the sun coming in through the window. Okay, here we're taking a look. Of course, this is, um, I had the TV on just so you can get a look at it and take a look at what we're able to see every night on a nightly basis. Um, this is from the series against the Columbus Blue Jackets in the playoffs here. But you can take a look and see. Um, the color on here is exceptional. Also, if you take a look, I'll try to show you here up on the ceiling, um, I have surround sound. I have three speakers in front and I have two speakers in back. So that's where we watch uh, Penguins games during the year. That's it for the tour of the Penn's Den. Hope you everybody enjoyed this. If you really found that you liked the content of this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and tell others about our channel. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook groups and our Facebook page and uh, Penn's Den out on Twitter as well. And remember, it's always a great day for hockey.